Pseudopelid is a condition related to lichen planopolaris. Both diseases share some similar clinical and trichoscopic features. The disease is also called Pseudopelade Brock to honor the dermatologist Louis Brock, who first described the condition. Brock indicated that Pseudopelade may look like alopecia areata. He used the term Pseudo-alopecia areata. Being French, he used the French term for alopecia areata, pelade, which led to the name Pseudopelade. Clinically, pseudopelade presents with patches of cicatricial alopecia. They may mimic alopecia areata because they are not associated with symptoms of inflammation. The multiple small patches of hair loss are often described as looking like footprints in the snow. Over time, these patches may merge into larger hairless areas. It most frequently affects middle-aged women, but it can occur in any gender or age group. Diagnosing pseudopelade can be challenging as blood tests and immunopathology are not helpful. A recent study suggests that staining scalp biopsy samples for elastic fibers may be beneficial, as these fibers tend to be preserved and thickened in pseudopelade, unlike in other types of cicatricial alopecia. Trichoscopy of pseudopelade typically reveals pale, yellowish-pink areas of scarring alopecia, occasionally with very mild parafollicular scaling and presence of pilitorti. Braun Falco established criteria which may be useful for differentiation. The differential diagnosis includes all types of focal hair loss. Currently, there are no standard treatments for pseudopelade, and halting its progression can be difficult. Treatments used in clinical practice include intralesional and oral glucocorticosteroids, hydroxychloroquine, isotretinoin, and mycophenolate mofetil. JAK inhibitors may also be a potential treatment option. Most dermatologists adopt treatment strategies similar to those for lichen planopilaris. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please consider giving this video a like.